Assalamualaikum guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well. I've got this gorgeous bridal look for you with a gold um, glittery eye so I'm going to show you how I created this. So I'm starting off with the eyebrows. I'm using the NYX brow gel and just lightly brush through the eyebrows and then I'm using just a little bit of powder from my Jaclyn Hill. It's just an eyeshadow just to define the eyebrows a little bit further. So eyebrows come in a defined color. The other powder use the other the NYX gel use the and I'll be my P Louise car base is the Malcarium. So I'm going in with my P Louise base rumor three, and I'm using a flat brush to actually apply this, carving out the eyebrows underneath and at the top, and then I'm brushing away all the extra product. So what you want to do is make sure that they, I'm, you can see that I'm using quite a lot of product here but then I do go back in, pat it all down and I make sure that I use a fluffy brush after that to make sure there's no extra product there so everything is actually set um, and I know a lot of people sometimes struggle with the wet product so if you want, um, there's two things either you can just go over it with a little bit of powder before you add on your eyeshadows or just make sure you use less product so I'm going in with my first deeper tone brown on the outer corners and I'm just blending this out so here I'm outer corners where I'm just a little bit of a dark brown is the marker and outer corners go a little defined key. So I just build this up step by step. I go in a few times and I just tap on my um, eye colour first and then I start blending and taking it across into the eye. So this palette is actually from um, Inglot. Um, I actually just picked these shades up a little while back and uh, unfortunately I can't tell you what shades they are because they're actually depotted, not depotted, but you make up your palette um, and there's, I can't actually get the actual um, eyeshadow out and there's no shade numbers underneath it. So, But these are just the shimmery eyeshadows and I'm just using my finger to apply these but they are really, really pigmented and really, really beautiful colours. And I'm using my finger to apply this all over the lid, overlapping onto my first colour that I've added. This is how I find that you can get a really good blend. So I have this glitter I used and pigment glitter from Inglot in Ginnam. I'm sorry, I don't know which shades are, but I have this finger that I have used. Then I'm going in with an angle brush and I'm just taking a black eyeshadow and I'm applying it. I'm like I would my eyeliner but it is the eyeshadow and then I'm going to blend this out. So yahan pe jo thoda sa wo jo smoky blended eyeliner jo look hota hai yahan pe pehle main eyeshadow apply kar rahi hu and jaise eyeliner lagate hain ek um patla sa brush use kiya and isko main laga rahi hu um stamp karke and jaise eyeliner lagana and then isko hum blend kar denge. So once I've actually applied it, I'm going in with a slightly thicker brush now, a slightly fluffier brush, and I'm going in with a, a dark brown. And just across the line that I created, I'm just blending it out outwards and slightly into the inner corners. So it lights a brown, um, brown eyeshadow like it. Us line ko maine abhi smoke aur kar diya. Yahan pe maine ye mac ka dazzle shadow use kar rahi hu, jo um, gold tha uski upar thoda sa usko emphasize karne ke liye. So I went in with my mac gold. Um, Dazzle Shadow is a liquid one and it's it's a, such a stunning colour as well. I think it's blinking brilliant and uh, I've gone over the eyes there and now I'm just going in with gel liner on the waterline and just getting the inner corners as well. So eyeliner wise I've gone over with liquid eyeliner and then I will go over this once I've got the lashes on just to finish this off. So this for me is just more of a guideline. So I'm going to put a liquid liner on and then I'll do the eyeliner again later on. But I'm going to put a guideline on the top of the eyeliner. I'm going to clean it up here. I'm going to use it as a hyaluronic serum. So I'm going in with my skin care now. So I'm using a little bit of hyaluronic serum. Um, always ask your client whether they're allergic to anything as well before you're using anything like this. And then I'm going with my e.l.f. Putty Primer. The key to this is to use circular motions and really kind of like get that product pushed into the skin. Color correcting with my Makeup Forever palette, the foundation palette that I use and I've gone in with a slightly lighter color and I'm just color correcting around the mouth area and underneath the eyes. So 
so foundation wise i've gone in with the Krylon paint stick this is in the shade gg you might not be able to get this shade a lot of the time people say that they can't find this shade but in the uk i did find this shade um so you just want something similar um so i've added this on and i'm going to blend this out a little bit so here I've used Krylon paint stick as well. So this is a full base when you want to create it. If you want to layer it and put it on it, it becomes a good base. So here I've used my Krylon paint stick as well. Normally I put it on the foundation at the same time and blend it with it. So this time I've used it a little bit properly. I've not used it properly. I'll do it properly. So I'm blending this out. So normally you've seen me, I've added the foundation on the second layer um, straight away this time I just decided to blend out some of the product first the Krylon before I actually go in with my liquid foundation so just Krylon on its own doesn't work for me so I always add in another foundation so I've gone in with Mac Studio Fix and I haven't used a lot of foundation it's just a small amount that I've used but then I blend this away with my brush and then also tap away with my beauty blender Just make sure you tap away. The Beauty Blender is damp. It's not wet. It's just very, very damp. Not sorry, not very damp. It's um, just make sure you wring out all the water. I use a tissue normally to make sure there's no um, water left. So you're going to tap this away until you're finished. So damp Beauty Blender is the mal karke me yahan pe type motion se pura jo base hai usko blend kiye ja rahi hu and set kiye ja rahi hu. Now in a corners pe yahan pe me apna dark color concealer is the mal karungi. So I'm going to highlight with my Tarte um, concealer here and I'm going down the centre of the face and also underneath the eyes and the jawline. Then contouring just on the um, sides of the face and then also I'm using this as the Huda Beauty contour um, palette. So it's the Tantor. So this colour is actually quite dark. I think I do need something a little bit warmer. So next time I think, sometimes I find that this is a bit dark so I don't use too much product of this. But what I'm doing is taking this upwards, you can see, so that the, the product is actually blended nicely. And I'm not bringing it too um, down across the cheeks or anything like that. I'm keeping it on the outer perimeters of the face. So I'm using a brush here and I'm tapping away with a concealer. So by the time I've actually um, blended out my contour and things like that, that's given my concealer a few minutes to sit, which it may, means that it actually blends out really, really nicely. And it gives you more coverage. So if you go in straight away to blend away, um, you might not get that coverage. So this um, technique is actually really, really good. And using a brush, I'm finding that a lot better than going in with a beauty blender. I'm now setting this with my Laura Mercier translucent powder before I go in and do a bit of baking. If you go straight in with baking, it will your base will become um, cakey. So yahan pe maine concealer ko tap karke brush ke saath blend kar diya and then yahan pe thoda sa loose powder jo hai Laura Mercier ka um, laga ke to isko set ki ja rahi hu and then yahan pe baking karungi. Agar aap baking ekdam kar denge wet base pe to wahan pe aapka base cakey ho sakta hai. So powder puff se main yahan pe apply kiya ja rahi hu. So I'm just using a powder puff, same powder, Laura Mercier, and I'm baking with that today. Cutting under the jawline as well. So this just gives you a really nice finish as well and a little bit more coverage. And it just sharpens the edges of that contour for you. At this point, I'm working underneath the eye. So I'm going in with a black eyeshadow first, just to give her definition, because we were going quite dark with the eyes. And then I blend this out with a slightly darker brown, just to blend everything out. So here I'm using black eyeshadow from the eyes to the bottom and powder on the bottom so if there's any fallout there, it will be catched on there and then I'll blend it with a darker brown So take your time here obviously when you're working with colours like this even if you've got the powder obviously sometimes it can be difficult to wipe away as well So just using my brown here now just to diffuse everything
Then I'm just adding in a little bit of powder contour just to make sure I can emphasize that contour a little bit. So now it's time to actually wipe away that extra powder. So what I'm doing is, is using a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury press powder here now. And what I'm doing is, is stamping the product in and brushing away. So this gives you a really, really nice flawless finish. So just this gives you a little bit more coverage. So I'm going Charlotte Tilbury press powder that I used here. And I'm going to dabbing motion here with the press powder and then um, swipe it Really getting into those corners, you can see I've made I've got a little bit of eyeshadow there, so really making sure I blend that out. Adding a little bit of um, blusher now, this is a powder blusher. And then I'm just going to go over the eyes now, so making sure that I'm using my gel eyeliner now, and this is going to make sure that everything is just locked into place, and just really taking my time to make sure the eyeliner is the same on each eye. So I'm going to use gel liner and I'm going to use eyeliner to finish it. I'm going to use a highlighter here. This is the Inglot Sparkling Dust. It's a shade I don't know, but there are a lot of shades that have it, but it's Sparkling Dust. So I'm using this Sparkling Dust from Inglot. It's a really, really nice pigmented Sparkling Dust. It's a highlighter. I don't know the shade, I'm afraid. Everyone always asks me, but um, the shades come off. They do a few, but obviously um, this is the one I've got and it lasts you absolutely ages because you just need a touch. Lips, I've just lined it with a brown lip liner and then we've gone in with the Huda Beauty bombshell. So lip liner, I'm going to dark brown, so I'm going to use a Huda Beauty bombshell liquid liner. I'm going to use a set of hair and hair. And then I'm going to use a set of finer look. I hope you like this video. 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 Please comment and tell me. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I'm trying to bring out new things for you. I'm always trying to show you different eye makeup, different bases and things like that. But a lot of the techniques are actually quite the same as well. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, please do give me a thumbs up and a comment. And that would be great. And inshallah, I will see you guys soon. Allah Hafiz.